The recording career of Cocteau Twins, began at 4 AD headquarters, located on 15 on the road, in London. Here, Ivo Watts Russell, signed the band to the label in 1981. In part 1 of this video, I overlooked a very important EP in the band's career. The Spingle Maker EP, was released in 1984. It contains the song, Hurley Do Drops Drops, which was the band's highest ranking single, hitting number 1 on the independent chart, and number 29 on the singles chart. The Spangle Maker EP, was also the first appearance of Simon Raymond on bass. In October 1984, 4AD released the collaboration album by This Mortal Coil, It'll End in Tears. The Cocteau Twins participated on several tracks. One of them, a cover of Song to the Siren, was to cause quite an impact. In 1985, Elizabeth Fraser contributed vocals to a song called Love Insane, by the 4AD band, Diff Jews. The album was produced by fellow Cocteau twin, Robin Guthrie. In 1986, a Cocteau Twins compilation was released, it contained the song Mill Millinery, which is only available on this album. In 1987, Cocteau Twins only recorded one song, which was called Crushed. It appeared on this 4AD compilation album, with unique tracks by Dead Can Dance, Clamor Zymox, and others. In 1990, the single Fry Spling Cluck, included two of the best non-album tracks by Cocteau Twins. In 1994, Liz Frazier provided vocals to an EP by the electronic band, The Future Sound of London. In 1995, the Judge Dredd soundtrack had a rare Cocteau Twins song, Need Fire, only available on this album. Later in 1996, the Cocteau Twins song, Alice, appeared on the Stealing Beauty soundtrack. In 1999, a compilation of live BBC session tracks was released. And in 2000, 4AD released a new compilation album, which included the band's favorite songs, remastered. In 2005, a four-disc compilation album was released, including EP tracks, B-sides, and rarities. In 2018, Yet another compilation album was released. It included the last recording ever made by Cocteau Twins, the song Touch Upon Touch. After the 1997 breakup of the band, Elizabeth Fraser would go on to collaborate with Massive Attack. Meanwhile, Robin Guthrie, would form the band Violet Indiana, with Shavinda Murray. And in 2003, Robin Guthrie would begin his successful solo career, with the album Imperial. In 2000, Simon Raymond would become manager of the Bella Union label. The label would later sign the band Beach House, which is currently keeping the dream pop sound alive. Other high-quality releases by 4AD, include 1985's Clan of Zymox. Michael Brook, Cobalt Blue, 1992 The Breeders, The Last Splash, 1993 Dead Can Dance, Into the Labyrinth, 1993 Lush, Spooky, produced by Robin Guthrie, 1992 Be sure to also watch part 1, on my music bio channel.